I went to the hospital to get antibiotics for a skin infection I had on my hip. And then out of nowhere, I started getting a rash and that was the start of the SJS tons. It first started, my whole body got really red, and then I started developing little dots in my hairline, and then it worked its way down my face into my neck. My face was really swollen, including my eyes and everything, and that's what it was like before I started to develop blisters. When I woke up in emergency, I had developed my first blister underneath my left eye. And then the next day, they sent me into the ICU, and that's when I took out my phone and I saw myself and I had developed blisters practically everywhere. I think it was probably just under a week after I got put into the ICU, they ended up putting me into a medically induced coma. I had multiple full body infections. I was hypothermic. My lungs hemorrhaged. I had multiple blood transfusions. At one point, like all of the blood that was in my body just wasn't mine anymore. I went into cardiac arrest. It was a couple minutes that I was down. Throughout the entire process, they treated me like a burn victim to try and manage the scars and manage all of the open wounds. Because my mom took such a long time off of work, they ended up creating a GoFundMe. I'm going to read the second update which is more when I, I don't remember a lot because I was in a coma. Since our arrival at Chio, every day had some sort of challenge. And on the rare day that it was a good day, we nervously sit and wait for the inevitable shoe to drop. Because during the month that we had been here, those good days are rare. As I sit and watch her sleep, I watch her breathing. I look at the monitors and wonder how much more my baby can handle. And I think as much as I needed, and probably more than me, Lucy. So when I first, first started to wake up, I wasn't able to do anything. I still had my tray again. I wasn't able to speak. I wasn't able to lift my own arm even after I got my like large motor function back, being able to lift my arms and be able to take steps with a walker, my fingers didn't regain their strength for months after. If physio just didn't exist, I wouldn't have stood up again. Emma J. Dinam. be able to help people because without physio when I was really sick I probably wouldn't be able to do majority of the things that I'm able to do now. Currently I'm working as a casual rehab assistant at the general. It's just very exciting to be able to see people get better after an incident. 